Hello, my dear students. This is Yakas SD, and welcome to the ASD of these classes. Hope so. You all are doing really great. So, students, in this video, we are going to solve the question from the chapter thermodynamics. Okay, so let's go through the question. So, the question is the magnitude of heat exchanged by a system for the given cyclic process A B C A as shown in figure is in SI unit we want the answer okay so cyclic process is this one A B C A okay so first thing we have to decode here they are asking which process cyclic process so remember that students here see for cyclic process okay for cyclic process the change in internal energy will be always zero even for isothermal process also same situation okay so delta u is zero second one they are asking heat exchange so for that we should know first law of thermodynamics what is the first law of thermodynamics we know very well q equal to delta u plus w here okay sign conventions and all is very very important okay but anyhow delta u is how much zero that means we can tell here here we can tell here q is equal to w that means heat exchange means we have to just calculate the work now students after that if we talk about the work so we have to be very careful whenever we are calculating the work from the pv diagram whether which kind of cycle is there whether clockwise or anti-clockwise here you can observe which kind of cycle is there anti-clockwise cycle so for that students the third thing you should remember that here whenever the cycle is which one clockwise so remember that here clockwise so for clockwise cycle what is this this work done will be always positive okay and if in case if in case the cycle is which one anti-clockwise okay so in case of anti-clockwise cycle what will be there this work done will be negative that means whatever we will calculate here we will get the negative work okay but here the students remember that here which kind of process is the cyclic process so when we want that we have to just calculate area under this curve now to get the work area under the curve at the end we will put a minus sign okay so you can see very well here it is looking like a semicircle but not in all the cases okay so i will tell you one general case so fourth one what i am going to do here i am going to calculate the work so here work means area under the curve so students if in case this is semicircle so what is the area of the semicircle pi r square by 2 okay and why we are telling r square because what happens maybe this is also r this is also r is it but here i will do the general case so what i will write here i will write here half pi and i will write here r1 into r2 okay maybe if in case like here you can see this length is uh, how much 200 and this length how much this length is 200 but this does not happen in all the cases okay so i am going to see in a general way so students what i will do here what i will do here see i will take here one line here in the middle okay and let's take this distance this distance i have taken r1 okay similarly students here if i talk about here this distance this distance how much here r2 different different we will take that means what is coming half pi r1 r2 now see here half pi now r1 value how much r1 value how much see this is 200 so this is how much 100 but see here 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 what is given here cc that means students this r1 value is how much here this r1 value is 100 cc 100 cc cc means centimeter cube one centimeter cube how much here? 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube so students here we have to write here what we have to write here see 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 okay then only it will convert into meter cube okay after that students if i write here the value of r2 r2 how much see again you can see this is 200 that means this length how much this length will be 100 but a kilo pascal what is this here here see kilo pascal that means what we can write here we have to write students see 100 into 10 to the power 3 very very important this thing and this thing you have to be very careful after that when you will solve here what will come here see 1 by 2 pi here you see 100 100 10 to the power 4 and here 10 to the power 3 that means what is coming here 10 to the power 7 and this is how much here 10 to the power minus 6 okay so after that it will come here you can see it will become 10 pi by 2 how much here 10 pi by 2 that means overall answer at the end how much coming here 5 pi so you can see very well here 5 pi is there but in the question what they are asking magnitude what they are asking magnitude here what is happening this work done will be at the end we have to put minus sign why because which kind of cycle as i have told you which kind of cycle anti-clockwise cycle okay so work done will be negative to minus pi but in the question they are asking only magnitude so only this minus sign we will omit and uh, we will omit it and we'll get here how much here 5 pi answer so students i hope so i hope so now 
all these things you have understood very well. Keep studying, keep growing.